is the Varix Ruffle Cup in a multicolor turtle dove colorway. This is made by Vans but doesn't look like your Vans. What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. For anything else, I would like to thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so. It will help and motivate me in creating more videos. With that being said, let's look into the details of this unique shoe. The Vans Varix WC is the first ever lifestyle shoe from the brand. Built with waffle cup technology on the midsole, coupled with a comfortable ultra cush light insole. It has the dad shoe look but not too bulky or chunky. The design is inspired by early 2000 releases of Vans but infused with modern touch. The upper is made up of layered materials like suede, leather and mesh which gives the shoe a premium feel. The multi-layer design of the shoe is not your typical seamless or sock-like uppers like the prime nets and fly nets. Lately, this has been the trend even in the more popular brands. Looking closely on the toe box, it is made of different tones of leather. Gray on the toe with a black strip accent which is connected to a tan colored leather on top. Underneath these layers of leather is a mesh material. The midsection also has layers of mesh, suede and leather including this tan colored patch on the side. Which is the part of the shoe that I don't like. There's also patches of black, pink, and light gray leather around the color of the shoe as accent. The comfortable tongue has orange suede and mint green leather patch on top. Going to the heel area is also multi-layered, having an orange suede at the bottom covering the gray leather which is on top of the salmon colored mesh. The lace loop on the pull tab adds up to the design. Other notable attributes are the three-piece waffle cup midsole which looks very durable and a very comfy ultra cush insole. The unique design of this shoe really excites me. This is the model where bands mix things up and move away from their typical models like the old schools, the skates, and the slip-ons. The move is unexpected from the brand, but for me, this is a good one. Overall, this is a shoe that I recommend getting, because we might not see the same design again in the future. That's if Vans decides to stick with their bread and butter. Comfort-wise, it's not like your Boost or V-Axe, but I can say that it's relatively good. The waffle cup design gives you the feeling of stability while wearing it. As for the fit, it is true to size. To end, let me show you how this looks on feet. But before that, if you like this video, don't forget to click on the thumbs up button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I would like to thank you again for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.